my name is Jane Fawcett and I'm the head of support here at Aplo Software. I wanted to take a couple minutes to uh, explain the process of recording a donation with donor management. So you'll see from your dashboard, you have the option to click donor management here on the left navigation. Um, you'll want to click fundraising and then contributions to go to um, the page where you can either record an individual donation um, then batch those donations together or record a, um, a batch of donations as a deposit to track in your accounting. So first landing on this page, you'll see that here, here at the contributions page, we have our deposits um, tab here. So if you're wanting to record donations individually, you'll click add contribution. This is going to take you to um, the form where you'll be able to type in the information for that donor's donation. So you'll see that there's contact, purpose, acknowledged, contribution date, amount, note, expense amount, and NTD amount. You might find that you don't have um, an expense amount or an NTD amount. Expense would be, uh, for example, if you're recording an online donation and you have a transaction fee taken out of that donation, you can split that into the expense amount to track it with an expense account. Um, NTD would be that if you maybe have somebody who attended a fundraiser, um, they wrote you a check for $100, um, but $25 of that was to cover the ticket to attend the fundraiser. So you'd put that $25 amount here. Um, then the amount that will show on the contribution statement will be $75, which is the total minus the um, non-tax deductible amount. So here on this page, I'm going to do an example. Um, so let's say that Alex gave to my general purpose. So um, just a general donation. You'll be able to create purposes on your purpose page, which I'll hit in just a moment. So um, I'm choosing general purpose here. And then this field acknowledged um, will allow you to show whether you acknowledged the donation. So if you if you sent a thank you to your donor, you can uh, say that you acknowledged it. If it's unacknowledged, then you'll be able to pull a list of any unacknowledged donations to follow up. And then you can click ignore if you don't want to take any action. So I'm going to just leave it as acknowledged. You'll choose the date of your donation the amount, let's say $200. This uh, note field, you could put the check number if you need to. You could um, put a note, uh, just an internal note if you want to do that as well. I'm going to leave expense amount and NTD amount um, empty. These are, um, I don't need these. I'm just recording, let's say, a check donation. So I've got those um, required fields filled out. And then I can click save and close if I'm just entering one donation or save and add if I want to then go and record a second donation. So I'm going to save and add. And then I'm going to move on here and choose put in a different donor. Let's say general. And then I'm going to save and close now. Just these two I'm going to record. So here they are here at the top of my list. You can change the sorting by clicking on the headers here. Right now mine is sorted by date. So here are those two donations that I just recorded. If I need to edit them, well, you, you'll see this edit feature right here. You can click that and click into that donation itself. So let's say you've recorded some donations and now you want to track those in accounting. So you want to uh, deposit them. So you'll see this deposit column. All of these have already been deposited. So I am going to um, check the box for these two donations and then record the deposit. So I checked the box that activates my create deposit button. I'm going to click that. So here they are here in a batch now. So contributions deposit. I can choose the date of the deposit. And just as a note, the date here does not need to match the date of these donations. So this will be the date that um, will reflect in my accounting as the deposit. And then the dates here will be, um, you might have 
they might have given uh, their donation prior to today's date. So these can be um, the date on the check or the date of the donation. Um, so basically, these two dates don't need to match the uh, deposit date. So I can um, change my acknowledgement status. I can uh, make any changes here if needed. Then I'm going to choose my cash account for which um, account I want to reflect the donation or excuse me, the deposit of $350. And then I'm going to click save. So now this is going to take me to my deposits page, which is showing me here. This is the deposit that I just recorded. So two donors, $350 and that batch date. I can update it from here if I need to. It'll take me back to that contributions deposit page there. I can search for any deposits. Um, I can show any that are linked or unlinked, search by date fields, all of that here within the deposits page. So going back to the contributions page, here are those two donations that I just entered, the batch that they're linked to all right here. You can also import donations if needed. So that'll take you to an import page where you can upload the file. Here's the link to the um, template that those need to be added in. You'll be able to format those, upload them, and go from there. Now the deposits page is a little bit different. You're still recording donations, but you might want to record a batch of donations at one time. So you'll click create deposit and that takes you to the page that we were at just a couple minutes ago. So you could go in and just add as many rows for uh, donations that you need. So this might be that I have a donation on the 4th, maybe a donation on uh, the 16th, let's say, and then um, one on the 24th. So here are my donors. Let's do Alex, and he donated $100. Um, and then I can change my acknowledgement status here. We can do uh, an example in this one of, uh, let's say these are online donations. So hundred dollars maybe the uh, transaction uh, processing fee was three dollars and fifty cents so we're gonna do one for Katie and then let's say 750 and then was also a hundred dollars and 350. So you'll see that we've got the total of this column here, $700, and then we've got the expense amount here. So this allows you to choose your expense account so that the total of this column will go, uh, will be broken out into um, the expense um, account there. I've already got my checking account chosen. So this is where the deposit, the full deposit, the, excuse me, the net deposit will reflect in my general checking. So I've got my three donations. They're all different dates. So when I generate a contribution statement for these individually, the donations will be dated as of the date in this column. And my accounting transaction is going to be dated as of the date of my contributions deposit. So I'm going to click save. Oops, need a batch name. And click save. All right, so here's that deposit. I'm going to click update and this takes you, it's got a little quick link so I can show you how it looks in accounting. So here's the total, the net. Um, here's the amount that was donated minus the fee, so is the total deposit. So you'll see that here in accounting, and then I can jump back to the batch there. So pretty easy. So then again, if you want to record an individual donation, you can do that here on the contribution screen. You can import as well. You can record um, directly to a batch and then deposit that here on the deposits page. Um, so all of that can be done uh, from the contributions tab. One quick thing is as you're recording these donations, eventually you'll generate contribution statements. So I'm gonna show you that process real quick. All of your donation reports will be right here in reports. 
So I'm going to go to reports, click donations by contact. This is going to show me a list of donations um, here in a summary. And you can choose your date range here. So if I want to generate the statements, I'm going to click extra actions, print contribution statements, choose my details, add a message if I want, click print, and that's going to generate a individual contribution statement for each of these donors. So that's a high level view of how you will record uh, donations in Aflos. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team. We're happy to help. You can always get a hold of us by clicking uh, this little icon here down below. Send in your question and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks for hanging out with me and hope you have a great day.